Hey guys, Brooks Reed. We're here at Bosworth, Missouri today on a little corn out of the bin, getting prepared and ready for uh, that big bountiful harvest in front of us. Boy, have I got a treat for you today. We're headed out to the field to meet up with Chad Becker to take a look at the Biopath trial. Hey Frontier Fields, Granville Travis here today. We're back in Belknap, Illinois. We're gonna go look at some fields, trials where we had some mosaic biopath and 5025 on the planter. We've got Michael Edens, Illinois sales manager here to help answer some questions. And hopefully you'll learn something today when we go do some root digs. It's really exciting this time of the year, going out, walking fields, pulling ears back and uh, you know, counting the kernels, seeing, seeing how pollination is coming along and the, the potential of uh, a good corn crop. We've got several trials out on our farm this year. We're really excited to see what the results uh, be in, one of them being the Biopath trial. We're headed there now. Since the last time you were here, it's pretty well just been wet. We've still got some post spraying on some beans to do. Our biopath fields, they look pretty good. The early corn and the late corn both look good. The only negative thing I can say about the late corn is it's got a June plant date. We've never planted corn in June before, so we're gonna see how this turns out this year. Hopefully biopath can help us maintain some yield potential. Hey, I'm here with Chad Becker. We're gonna go take a look at that biologicals field. Chad, you wanna introduce yourself? Absolutely. Chad Becker from Mosaic Biosciences. I'm the agronomist for the western part of the, of the U.S. here. How does products like biologicals interest you, I guess, and why, why that direction? The biologicals interest me because fertilizer gets into the plant through biologicals. I believe that it's a key to increased yield. Sometimes it's a little hard to see. Uh, what's going on with biologicals. Have you been able to come out to your field? Have you seen anything? When you're trying to look for four bushels, it's really hard to see because, you know, did you hit that one spot in the field that was the awesome spot? We found last year one of our fields that we was testing just happened to be our t where our tissue sample spot landed was very different spot from the rest of the field. The, the nutrient uptake in that area was just off the charts. Me and Michael here is on the way to our biopath planter 2 by 2 trial. Excited to be down here on the southern end of the state. The first trial we're gonna go look at will be a 2 by 2 by 2 trial that I used biopath and 5025, both at 16 ounce rates. So you're running 2 by 2 on your planter system then? Yes, we run the 360 bandits. I really like them in conventional dirt. Mm -hmm. because it does put it down in the ground. And then your side dressing, are you using a knife bar yep. with your 32%? Yep, yep. mixing Biopath with it. Yep. yep, so you've seen the ease of access of putting that in there then. On our tender trailer, we've just got an inductor right there at the back of it, so I can add in Biopath pretty easily or whatever micronutrient my tissue samples are showing I'm deficient in, and we can make the application pretty quick and easy. With grain prices the way they are and markets and everything, you kind of got to watch how much is too much to spend on something like that, where the nice thing is with Biopath for the price range, the ROI and the ROFI, it's a pretty easy decision to make for Biopath. We picked a good time to do a root dig. Yeah, a real good time to do a root dig. Starting to rain now. Yep. sitting here we've got our roots washed off and our, our stalks laid out. The three stalks on the uh, side toward the shed is our control. The ones toward the yard, those three stalks are the bile path. So what we're noticing is the hair roots and the root mass. You're looking at these and how dense they are and you come over here and you can really see the hair roots and how much there is. Which, you know, different areas, different weather conditions, we can see a more variable difference. But here, still noticeably different. Right there, look at all these fine hair roots, how deep they're coming down, which goes back to tissue sampling of what you're able to see more uptake with the biopath in there. Has more root mass, yeah. which is a good sign. I'm not saying that the, the control looks bad, but the biopath definitely has an advantage. Yeah, visually, you know, once you dig it up and actually look at the root mass, biopath, it seems like it's having an advantage there. So we're at my field, let's go take a look. Let's go.
What we're doing out here today is trying to find a little bit of difference that we were talking about earlier on in the car. So what we're looking at here is we have a control over on this side and a biopath on the right. This was uh, 16 ounces side dress. To the naked eye, you may not see a lot if you're not used to looking at these, but what you can see is you focus in on that upper three inches or so of roots, a lot more fibrous root structure there versus what you've got on the control. That's been pretty common, what we've been seeing with the crops, the whole Midwest is that right there. So. It, that's a good sign, right? So we should get some early growth. We should be able to capture some of those nutrients that are stratified up in that upper part of the profile. That's the goal of the product, is to get something like this. Looks pretty good. Thanks for tagging along with us and uh, digging in, seeing what uh, what's going on and happening out here in the field. You know, I want to thank uh, Chad for coming out and operating the shovel and getting us some fine looking plants. Come around sometime when, uh, when we're in the combine, take a spin. That'll work. I don't fit in the most combines, two people, so I need more than a jump seat. I want to thank Michael for coming out today to help us learn, uh, help us look at uh, what the biopath has done in our field. Uh, I hope that you all subscribe to our videos and be sure to check out the other farmers. Appreciate all the work you've done for us, looking into everything, and then to be able to come back uh, during harvest see what the yield results brings and you guys can also go to trueresponseworks.com and see all the results in your area. Be sure to check back in at harvest time.